Hi guys, welcome to this video. I am Prashant and I am bringing this series of videos to you wherein I explain one word every day. So we've got the word of the day uh, series going on here. Uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to cover as many words as possible and make it easy for you as learners to learn these words. Uh, the word that we've got today is dwindle. Uh, the word sounds interesting. It's got an interesting pronunciation for it. And what does it mean? To dwindle means when something uh, becomes gradually less until little of it remains. So over a period of time, there is a reduction that takes place in that particular thing so it just keeps reducing the quantity keeps falling this is actually the perfect description or the apt pictorial description for it here in this particular case probably the fortune of this person is dwindling uh, the sentence examples for this particular word also reflect the same our energy dwindled as the meeting went on so here something non-physical in nature your energy is dwindling the town's population is dwindling away the number of people in the town are reducing they are gradually lowering down savings will begin to dwindle that is they will begin to reduce as retirees run them down so as retirees spend their money savings would dwindle so each of these sentence examples explains how uh, gradually over a period of time the quantity of the particular thing being talked about it reduces it dwindles this can be physical this can be non-physical in nature this can be countable this can be uncountable in nature so that's what happens with this word in fact we've got a series of amazing words that you can club together with this word so words such as abate decay decay decline decrease diminish ebb drop, fall, fade. Uh, in fact, what you should do is you should make a cluster of synonyms. Remember, always try to remember more than one word with a single meaning, right? That way you multiply your learning. So in the word cluster for dwindle, there should be dwindle, there should be diminish, there should be abate and there should be ebb. These four words, which are slightly difficult. Remember, decay, decline, decrease, uh, drop, fall, fade are easy words. So you can remember dwindle, diminish, abate, and ebb and you can re uh, remember them with the context of something declining or reducing so that's the meaning that you've got to remember that's the cluster that you've got to form so every time you discover one of these four words you should try to recall the other three words so if you read ebb somewhere in some context that something has ebbed away uh, you should try to recall which were the other words that you tried to remember in the cluster and that is how your word power is going to increase the informal terms that you can use for dwindle are tail off fall fade wither uh, sink go down the drain so go down the drain is a good idiom for you guys to learn from this so when something goes down the drain that means it gets wasted or it gets reduced generally we use it to imply something's been wasted uh, so if your opportunity has gone down the drain that means you wasted the opportunity disappear or go down uh, the opposite of dwindle ascend develop enhance enlarge expand extend so everything in if you look at it pictorially the reverse arrow so if you it is a change in perspective so instead of a downward arrow you've got an upward arrow that is what uh, these antonyms stand for so this is one simple cluster of words that we've learned today uh, this is how you learn words with along with their uh, related words in order to improve your learning so that's something that you do uh, i hope you had a good time watching this video uh, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to build a repository of 1000 plus free videos so obviously this is going to take some time but over a period of time that's what we are doing so that you can learn these words and you can learn them absolutely free of cost if you're preparing for competitive exams we'll be coming out with a word pundit vocabulary course very very soon uh, that's something that you can subscribe to as well so if you want structured learning you can use that course otherwise these free videos are good to go every day you learn something and every day your word power improves and increases uh, thank you very much for watching this video this is prashant signing off one small request if you like this video do subscribe to the channel do share this video thank you very much for watching this video and as always happy learning mm -hmm.